Pradeep Pujari and I am a verified educator on an academy. You can follow me on an academy learning app where you can find my other courses as well. So this lesson is on some solved examples related to disposal of sewage uh, effluent. So please do rate, review and recommend my courses and lessons. Do share this video and subscribe us on YouTube channel. Thank you. Hello friends, welcome to an academy and this lesson on solved examples related to disposal of sewage effluents by Sharyu Pujari. So that's me, about me, I'm a verified educator on an academy. I've done my MTech in environmental science and technology and B in civil engineering. I have two years of experience in teaching and you can follow me on this link. So if you follow me, you will get notified every time I publish a new lesson or new course on this platform. So this is my profile on an academy learning app where you will find my other courses as well. So like my previous course was on characteristics of sewage. Before that it was on introduction to wastewater. So wastewater engineering. So please do refer my previous lessons uh, or courses also. And uh, please do rate, review and recommend my courses and lessons because it is very important for me as an educator on this platform. Also share this video and subscribe our YouTube channel. So friends, before going to this lesson, you need to refer my lessons on introduction to uh, disposal of sewage effluents and uh, a lesson on self-purification process so in self-purification process i have explained a c mix formula so that we are going or c mix equation so that is a very important equation uh, as uh, related to gate exams or any ies exam or competitive exam so this type of exams are expected in gate or any other competitive exam for that purpose that c mix equation is very important and based on that now we are going to solve some examples so the first example is the secondary effluent from a municipal wastewater plant is discharged into a stream at a rate of 12,000 meter cube per day with a BOD5 of 50 mg per liter the stream flow is estimated to be 40,000 meter cube per day and the BOD5 of the water in the stream is 3 mg per liter the BOD of the mixture is Option A is 6.8 mg per liter. Option B is 13.85 mg per liter. Option C is 17.65 mg per liter. And option D is 10.55 mg per liter. So here, see the effluent from a municipal wastewater plant. And its discharge is 12,000 meter cube per day. And its concentration or BOD5 is 50 mg per liter. And the stream's flow rate is given 40 thousand meter cube per day and streams bod5 is 3 mg per liter right so we have to find out the bod of the mixture so as per the given data so this is the point of disposal so this is the stream so from here waste or sewage from the sewage treatment plant is going to get mixed with the river or the stream right so here qw is given as 12,000 meter cube per day uh, BOD5 of uh, waste or sewage is given as 50 mg per liter uh, flow rate of stream is 40,000 uh, meter cube per day and CR that is the BOD5 or concentration of river or stream is 3 mg per liter so we have to find the BOD mix right so the BOD mix or C mix formula is QR into CR plus qw into cw divided by qr plus qw so putting all the values that is 40,000 into 3 plus 12,000 into 50 divided by 40,000 plus 12,000 we will get our answer as 13.846 so it is 13.85 mg per liter which is given in the option and that is our option b so the correct answer for this question is option B that is 13.85 mg per liter is the BOD mixture. Right. So let's see the next question. So the next question is a drain carrying sewage of BOD 200 mg per liter and flow rate of 50 mg per liter joins a river whose upstream BOD is 8 mg per liter and flow rate is 500 meter cube per second. Assume immediate 
and complete mixing of drain with the river what is the estimated downstream bod of the river flow so this question was asked in ies 2009 option a is 20.4 option b is 25.4 option c is 104.4 and option d is 70.4 mg per liter so they are saying that drain is carrying sewage and its BOD is 200 mg per liter and flow rate is 50 meter cube per second. Joins a river whose stream uh, BOD is 8 mg per liter and flow rate is 500 meter cube per second. So you have to uh, assume that it mixes completely and uh, we have to calculate the uh, downstream BOD, right? So here in diagram you can see here is the point of disposal. So point of disposal line is here. So before to that it is upstream and after to that it is downstream. So at downstream it will here it will get mixed the sewage water and the stream water will get mixed. So or the drain water will get mixed and then the mixture or mixed concentration will flow so that concentration we need to find out right so here cw is given as 200 mg per liter qw is given as 50 meter cube per second cr is 8 mg per liter and qr is 500 meter cube per second so here again we are going to use the cmix formula that is qr cr plus cw qw divided by qr plus qw so putting all the values here that is 500 into 8 plus 200 into 50 divided by 50 plus 500 right so here 50 and 500 are the discharges right so we'll get our answer as 25.45 so it is our answer b it is given in the question so correct answer for this question is option b that is 25.4 mg per liter is the estimated downstream bod of the river flow right so next question we are going to see is effluent from a wastewater treatment plant flow rate is 860 or 8640 meter cube per day temperature is 25 degrees celsius is discharged to a surface stream, a stream whose flow rate is 1.2 meter cube per second and temperature is 15 degrees celsius what is the temperature of the stream after mixing so this question was asked in IES 2009 option A is 10 degrees Celsius option B is 15.77 degrees Celsius option C is 20 degrees Celsius and option D is 24.99 degrees Celsius so friends here they have given flow rates in different units right so this is in meter cube per day and this is in meter cube per second so we have to make this in same unit also here the BOD5 is not given the concentration is not given but here the temperature is given but we can use the similar formula for this or similar equation so first we'll do this meter cube per day into meter cube per second for that QW is equal to 8640 meter cube per day they have given so we'll convert it into meter cube per second for that 8640 divided by 24 into 60 into 60 we'll get our answer as 0.1 meter cube per second right so temperature t1 is given as 25 degrees celsius qr is 1.2 meter cube per second t2 is temperature of what they have given for of the stream right t2 is the surface stream so t2 is 15 degrees celsius and we need to find out the mixture temperature of the mixture right so we can find out with the similar formula for temperature mix so that will be qrtr or qrt1 plus t2 plus or whatever we have given just uh, draw a diagram so you will understand qrtr plus qw tw divided by qr plus qw so putting all the values here from here right so putting all the values here will get uh, 1.2 into 15 plus 0.1 into 25 divided by 1.2 plus 0.1 uh, will get our answer as 15.77 so that is our an uh, answer b so here so it is for answer b is the correct option for this question 
so the temperature of the stream after mixing it will become 15.77 degree celsius so is the in this way some examples are asked on c mix formula and in this way we can solve them easily if we know one equation and uh, what is the given matter if we understand that uh, these questions are very simple to solve in gate exam within few uh, seconds we can solve this example and uh, also this uh, type of problems are asked in other competitive exams also so i hope this video was useful uh, for you if you have any doubts you can ask me in comments please do rate review and recommend my courses and lessons share this video and subscribe our youtube channel thank you